Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Esther and this channel is all about teaching you how to learn the piano and the violin from basics to advanced. So today we're going to be talking about how to hold the violin. Now this may sound extremely simple, but when you start to learn the violin, you will learn pretty quickly that holding the violin is actually a little bit more difficult than it may seem. But once you learn the basics, it'll probably feel quite easy, but it's very important to learn the proper way to hold the violin because if you start to hold your violin improperly from the beginning, it can then lead to injuries down the road or inflexibility because you can't move your arms in the proper way if you're not holding the violin properly. You definitely don't want to have to deal with that. So it's really important from the beginning to learn how to hold the violin properly. Now, if you're just a beginner, I would actually give yourself a solid week or so to really learn how to hold the violin properly and the bow properly. Both of those are the foundation really for being able to play the violin well. So make sure to learn those two things very, very well before you just start jumping into learning songs. I know you're super excited to get going on the violin, but just be patient. Make sure you learn those two very foundational things first well, and then you'll be prepared to really get going on the violin and learn the fun songs that you're so excited about learning. So today let's take a look at how to hold the violin. First things first, you want to make sure that you have put your shoulder rest, if you have a shoulder rest, on in the proper way. Now, with my shoulder rest, it's a little bit probably hard to tell, but you always want to have the thinner part of the shoulder rest that's closer to the wood. You want that part to be underneath the chin rest, and then that wider uh, part of the shoulder rest will be on the opposite side of your chin rest. And the reason for that is that your shoulder will be resting just opposite of your chin rest. You may have like a foam rest, and it's the same thing. You always put the thin side of the foam rest underneath the chin rest and the fatter side on the other side. And I do have a video that kind of walks through how to do that in the right way, how to put on your shoulder rest in the proper way. So I'll link that for you up here if you're interested in looking at that. So once you have your shoulder rest on properly, you're ready to practice holding your violin. Step number one, you wanna make sure that you're standing properly. So first you wanna make sure that you're standing straight and tall and with your feet shoulder width apart from each other and then you'll have your feet just slightly formed in a v-shape i'll show a picture here to show you how that should look then standing straight and tall and with your feet in that position just check that your knees are slightly bouncy so you'll just give a little bounce and the point here is to make sure that your knees are not locked because that also could cause some issues eventually you don't want to be fainting while you're standing up playing the violin so make sure you have knees that are not locked and slightly bouncy all right so the next thing to do is I'm gonna have you put a little X on your finger. So this is gonna be your left hand. Your left hand is always the one that holds the violin. Your right hand will be the one that holds the bow. On your left hand, you're gonna make a little X and this is on your forefinger on your left hand, okay? So mine is turning out to be kind of a messy X. This is on my forefinger of my left hand, kind of right across from my thumb. So you see where that's positioned. And this X is going to help us with placing our hand in the proper position on the violin. So now it's time to pick up your violin and we're going to start by learning the rest position of the violin. So you're going to hold your violin, touching that X on your finger, and then the side of your thumb on the other side. All right, so you see how this is? There's a little space behind my fingers and it's touching the side of my thumb and that X on the side of my forefinger. Once you have that, you're just going to tuck it underneath your right elbow and then you can kind of hold it almost like you're cradling a baby in your arms with your right arm so you'll just hold the violin like this now this is called the violin rest position so when you're not playing you can always just feel free to tuck your violin under your arm and this is a very comfortable way to hold it whenever you're not using it now with your hand still in that position that we just practiced you're going to keep a very light and loose grip and just slide up and down your fingerboard. So you'll slide till you touch the wood and then slide till you hit the end of the fingerboard. Slide up the fingerboard and slide down the fingerboard. Up the fingerboard, down the fingerboard. Up the fingerboard, down the fingerboard. So you just do this a few times with a very light and loose hand, making sure that you're not gripping tightly on the neck of the violin. 
after you've done this a few times and you feel comfortable with this, then it's time to just bring your hand up here. You'll kind of bring it to the top of the violin here and you can hold on the wood or right here on the fingerboard, whatever feels comfortable. And the next step is that we're going to hold the violin up in the air. So now you're going to stand and hold your violin nice and high. And I call this the Statue of Liberty. I actually got this from Mimi Zweig, who's a great violin teacher. And I've learned a lot of wonderful things from her and from her videos and books. The Statue of Liberty, so you're holding it up like it's the torch and you're gonna hold it for the count of 10. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. At this point, you're going to turn the violin using that hand that's holding on and then bring it straight in towards your jawline. And the shoulder rest should be resting comfortably on the top of your shoulder right here. And then your jaw is going to rest on the chin rest. Now, what you want to remember here is that most of the holding of the violin is actually going to be coming from your jaw and chin area. So you're actually going to be mostly holding the violin with your chin. Your hand is not going to be holding very much of the weight of your violin. The violin is actually more resting inside your hand, but at any moment, if you took your hand away, your chin should be able to hold the, the weight of your violin completely. So this can be a good exercise to do sometimes as well, is to remove your hand and then bring it back and then remove your hand and then bring it back because this is going to be training your chin or jaw to be holding on to the violin here. Another issue that sometimes happens when you're first learning to hold the violin is that you can get tension in different areas of your body. So you could start to feel tension in your jaw. You could feel tension in your arm or perhaps sometimes in your back or your shoulder on this side. So it's important to remember that tension usually shows that you're using your body in a way that's not right. So if you do start to feel tense or something's hurting, it's good to kind of release your hold and then see if there's something that you're not doing right with your violin hold and then do it again. And also it's normal when you're first learning how to hold the violin to get a little sore, just because even though the violin is not too heavy, your muscles are not really used to holding something up for this long of time, your muscles are going to actually get strengthened over time and eventually you aren't going to feel sore from it anymore. Those two things are kind of different. If you're hurting, that's not a good sign. Make sure that you're relaxing and trying to release any tension that you might have. But then at the same time, it will take a little bit of time to get used to how to hold the violin and to kind of build up your muscle tone so that it becomes very easy to hold the violin. Okay, so we've got into our position and here we just wanna check that we have a nice straight posture still and that our head is not tilting too much this way. You still wanna be looking for the most part forward straight. You also wanna make sure that your neck is not unnaturally tilted to one side or the other side. It should be mostly in a straight line with your back and still maintaining that very straight and comfortable posture. Oh, and one more thing is that even though this is called the chin rest, it's actually more of your jaw that's connected to the chin rest than it is your actual chin. So you will not slide your chin on straight on like this. It'll be your jaw mostly touching the chin rest with a little bit of your chin. You'll hold on like this. And now we're gonna do a few more of those slides with our thumb on its side, on this side, and then touching that X on our finger on this side. And you'll just do a nice relaxed slide down, slide up, slide down, slide up slide down, slide up. Now you see I have some space underneath right here and I try to keep my fingers as relaxed and rounded here as possible so that there's space between my thumb and my forefinger. Down, up, down, up. I hope that that is helpful for you. Now if you have any other questions definitely feel free to drop a comment below. I'm often checking my comments and I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. You can also subscribe to my channel for many more videos on learning the violin and becoming a better musician.